Have you ever wondered how lab-on-a-chip technology works? Welcome to our exploration of this cutting-edge field, a remarkable fusion of science, engineering, and technology. Picture a standard laboratory, a vast space filled with high-tech equipment, complex apparatus, and a myriad of test tubes. Now imagine shrinking that entire setup down to the size of a credit card. That, my friends, is the magic of lab-on-a-chip or LOC technology. LOC technology represents a radical shift in how we approach scientific experiments and medical diagnostics. It's all about miniaturization and integration. We're taking the diverse functionalities of a traditional lab, downscaling them, and integrating them onto a single chip. Think of it as a lab that fits in your pocket. This technology is a game changer, enabling faster, cheaper, and more portable solutions for a wide range of applications. It's not just about making things smaller, it's about making them better. LOC devices can handle tiny volumes of fluid in the order of picolighters, that's a trillionth of a liter. This allows for precise control, minimal waste, and rapid results. From healthcare to environmental monitoring, from drug development to food safety, LOC technology is paving the way for innovative solutions. Imagine a world where you can detect a disease with a single drop of blood, analyze the air quality in your home, or even discover new drugs, all with a tiny chip. But this technology isn't just about what's happening now, it's about the future. A future where personalized medicine is the norm, where rapid diagnostics are available at the point of care, where scientific research is accessible to everyone, everywhere. However, like any technology, LOC isn't without its challenges. There are technical hurdles to overcome, ethical considerations to address, and of course, the ever-present question of how to scale up production. But the potential rewards are immense, and the journey is just as exciting as the destination. Stay with us as we delve deep into the world of lab-on-a-chip technology. Ahead, we'll explore the history, principles, applications, and future directions of LOC. We'll look at real-world examples, discuss the challenges, and even answer some common questions. So buckle up for a thrilling ride into the microscopic world of LOC technology. The history of lab-on-a-chip technology is a fascinating tale of scientific progress. Our story begins in the late 20th century with the birth of microelectromechanical systems, or MEMS. This was a pivotal moment, as it marked the first time scientists could manipulate physical entities at the microscale. Fast forward to the 90s, the term lab on a chip was coined. This was a period of rapid innovation and development, with a focus on integrating several laboratory functions onto a single chip. Enter the new millennium, and LOC technology was making waves in the fields of genomics and proteomics, leading to faster and more efficient analyses. By the 2010s, LOC devices were being used in a wide range of applications, from environmental monitoring to drug development and even personalized medicine. As you can see, the journey of LOC technology has been truly remarkable. So what makes LOC tick? Let's dive into the basic principles and components of lab on a chip or LOC systems. At the core of LOC technology is the miniaturization of laboratory functions. Imagine being able to shrink a whole lab down to a chip not much bigger than a credit card. That's the fundamental concept behind LOC. Now, let's talk about the key components of an LOC system. These include microchannels, reservoirs, and reaction chambers. Microchannels are tiny conduits that allow fluids to move around, reservoirs are the starting points for these fluids, and reaction chambers are where the magic happens, where chemical or biological reactions take place. These components are created using a process called microfabrication, a technique borrowed from the semiconductor industry. It involves creating patterns on a substrate, usually silicon, glass, or a polymer, and then etching away the unwanted parts to leave behind the desired components. The design of an LOC device is crucial. It needs to be efficient, allowing for quick and accurate results. It also needs to be functional, able to withstand the stresses of the reactions taking place within it. This is where the principles of fluid dynamics come in. The behavior of fluids at the micro scale is different from that at the macro scale, and LOC designers need to take this into account. Another key principle is integration. LOC devices are not standalone entities. They need to be integrated with other systems, such as sensors for detecting the results of reactions and electronics for controlling the flow of fluids. Finally, LOC devices need to be scalable. That means they should be capable of being produced in large quantities without a loss in quality or functionality. This is a big challenge, and one that LOC designers are constantly striving to overcome. 
These principles and components are the building blocks of LOC technology. By understanding them, we can appreciate the complexity and sophistication of these tiny but mighty devices. LOC technology has found numerous applications in diverse fields. Let's explore some of these fascinating areas. In the realm of chemical analysis, LOC systems are revolutionizing the way we approach environmental monitoring and pharmaceutical analysis. These tiny lab systems can perform intricate tasks such as chemical separation and detection with remarkable efficiency. They are particularly valuable in environmental monitoring, where they can analyze samples on site, providing real-time data about pollutants and other chemical compounds. In pharmaceutical analysis, LOC devices streamline the process of drug discovery and testing, offering rapid, high-throughput screening of potential drug candidates. Turning to the world of biology, LOC technology is making waves in genomics, proteomics, and diagnostics. In the field of genomics and proteomics, LOC devices enable researchers to study the genome and proteome in unprecedented detail. They can isolate and analyze DNA and proteins in a highly controlled environment, paving the way for breakthroughs in genetic research and disease understanding. In diagnostics, LOC systems offer point-of-care testing, allowing healthcare professionals to conduct tests and obtain results at the patient's bedside. This can lead to quicker diagnoses and personalized treatment plans, improving patient outcomes. Then, there's the field of drug development and screening. LOC technology has become a powerful tool in high-throughput screening, a method used to identify active compounds, antibodies, or genes which modulate a particular biomolecular pathway. This process, traditionally time-consuming and resource-intensive, is made faster and more efficient with LOC systems. They can process thousands of samples simultaneously, accelerating the early stages of drug discovery. Additionally, LOC devices allow for more precise pharmacokinetic studies and drug interaction investigations, contributing to the development of safer and more effective drugs. The applications of LOC are as varied as they are impressive. From chemical analysis to biology, from environmental monitoring to drug development, LOC technology is proving to be a game changer. It is becoming an integral part of our quest to understand and manipulate the microscopic world, leading to advances that benefit us all. Scene script. Like any technology, LOC is not without its challenges and limitations. Firstly, let's discuss the technical and material restrictions. LOC devices rely on miniaturization, pushing the boundaries of what we can achieve on a microscopic level. This demands high precision and accuracy, which can be challenging to consistently attain. Materials used in LOC fabrication such as silicon, glass, or polymers, while versatile, also have their limits. For instance, silicon and glass are brittle and may not be suitable for certain applications, while polymers can interact with specific chemicals, potentially influencing the results of an analysis. Moving on, we must consider the challenges associated with scaling up and mass production. While LOC devices are cost-effective when produced in large quantities, the initial setup costs can be high. Plus, the complexity of these devices can make mass production challenging. Achieving uniformity across thousands or even millions of chips is not a simple task. Additionally, LOC technology faces hurdles in integration with other systems. For instance, incorporating sensors and electronics into these tiny devices while maintaining their functionality can be a challenging endeavor. The same goes for interfacing the microscale world of the LOC with the macroscale world of the laboratory. Then, there's the matter of ethical and regulatory considerations. With LOC devices being used in areas such as drug development, diagnostics, and genomics, it's vital to ensure they meet all necessary regulations. This can slow down the adoption of new technologies as they need to be thoroughly tested and approved before they can be widely used. Lastly, let's not forget the challenge of user acceptance. Like any new technology, LOC needs to convince potential users of its reliability, efficiency, and added value. This includes healthcare providers, researchers, and ultimately, patients who might benefit from LOC applications. Despite these challenges, the potential of LOC technology is undeniable. Its potential to revolutionize diagnostics, drug development, and many other fields makes it an exciting area to watch. The journey might be challenging, but the destination promises to be worth every hurdle. Where is LOC technology headed? This question stirs the curiosity of scientists, engineers, and tech enthusiasts alike. 
The future of Lab on a Chip technology is brimming with potential, and the trajectory of its development is guided by emerging trends in research. One such trend is the integration of LOC with other cutting-edge technologies. Imagine a world where your LOC device is not just a standalone gadget, but a node in a vast network of interconnected devices. That's where the Internet of Things, or IoT, comes into play. By connecting LOC devices to the IoT, we can collect, analyze, and share data on a scale never seen before. But the integration doesn't stop there. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is another key player in the future of LOC. AI algorithms can be utilized to analyze data from LOC devices, streamlining the process and providing insights that might otherwise be overlooked. This could revolutionize fields such as personalized medicine, environmental monitoring, and drug development. The possibilities for future applications of LOC are vast. We might see LOC devices used in food safety, where they could quickly and efficiently detect contaminants. In the field of agriculture, LOC could be used to monitor soil and crop health in real time. In medicine, it could lead to more effective, personalized treatments for patients. The potential is truly staggering. The integration of LOC with other technologies could also pave the way for more user-friendly devices. Imagine a LOC device that can be controlled and monitored from your smartphone, or a device that learns from your behavior and adapts to your needs. The possibilities are as exciting as they are endless. In terms of research, we can expect to see a focus on overcoming the current limitations of LOC technology. This could involve developing new materials for LOC fabrication, improving microfabrication techniques, and finding innovative solutions to the challenges of microfluidic design. The future of LOC technology promises to be as exciting as its past. As we move forward, we can expect LOC to continue pushing the boundaries of what's possible, revolutionizing our world in ways we can only begin to imagine. Let's now look at some real-world examples of LOC technology. One of the most successful products to date is the iStat handheld blood analyzer developed by Abbott. This device is a marvel of miniaturization, incorporating multiple biochemical assays on a single chip. It's used in emergency rooms worldwide to provide real-time, critical diagnostics, saving countless lives. The iStat's impact has been profound, demonstrating the power of LOC technology in the medical field. In the realm of cutting-edge research, scientists at Stanford University are developing a LOC device that can detect single cancer cells in a blood sample. This technology has the potential to revolutionize cancer diagnosis and treatment by providing early detection and personalized therapy options. It's an exciting development, showing the potential of LOC technology to push the boundaries of what is medically possible. But not every project is a success story. For instance, Theranos, a biotech company, promised a full suite of blood tests from a few drops of blood using LOC technology. However, the company faced significant technical challenges and regulatory scrutiny, leading to its downfall. The lesson here is that while LOC technology holds great promise, it's not without its challenges. Each failure is an opportunity to learn and improve, refining the technology and its implementation. Another interesting case study is the LOC device for water quality monitoring developed by a team at the University of Michigan. This device can detect harmful bacteria in water, providing a quick and easy way to ensure water safety. It's a great example of how LOC technology can be applied beyond healthcare, addressing critical issues like environmental safety and sustainability. Finally, let's look at the ongoing research at MIT, where scientists are developing a LOC device that can model human organs on a chip. This could transform drug development by providing a more accurate, efficient, and ethical alternative to animal testing. These case studies illustrate the practical power of LOC technology. We've covered a lot of ground today on LOC technology. From its historical development to its future prospects, We've seen how this compact system is revolutionizing fields ranging from chemical analysis to drug development. We've delved into the nitty-gritty of microfabrication and microfluidics and explored how sensors and electronics are integrated into these tiny yet transformative devices. Let's revisit some of the key points. Lab on a Chip, or LOC, is a miniaturized device that integrates several laboratory functions onto a single chip. The potential of this technology is immense, offering faster, cheaper, and more efficient solutions for diagnostics, environmental monitoring, and pharmaceutical analysis, just to name a few. Now we've received some questions from you all. Let's take a moment to address them. A common question is, 
Is LOC technology only applicable in medical and pharmaceutical fields? The answer is a resounding no. LOC has applications far beyond these fields, from environmental science to food safety and even forensic science. Their versatility is part of what makes them so exciting. Another frequently asked question is, does the miniaturization of lab processes compromise the quality of results? This is a valid concern, but rest assured, the miniaturization does not diminish the accuracy or reliability of the results. In fact, it often enhances it by reducing the chances of human error and contamination. Lastly, some of you have asked, are there any ethical considerations with LOC technology? Indeed, as with any technology, ethical considerations must be taken into account. These may include issues related to privacy, particularly in diagnostic applications, and the need for equitable access to these potentially life-saving technologies. In debunking these myths and misconceptions, it's clear that while LOC technology is not without its challenges, its potential to revolutionize various fields is undeniable. The future of LOC is bright, promising to bring about advancements that we may not even be able to envision today. Keep exploring, keep learning,